the big story coming in from the world of television well the ratings agency bark has decided to press the pause button on the ratings this for a period of 3 months they in a release have said this is this time will be used to review and augment the current standards of data after the huge controversy remember that came in because of the trp scams and that has got in a lot of bad press in a way a lot of credibility crisis over bark now the national broadcasters association has welcomed this step it's a good time for the agency to sort of clean up the mess within and try to bring in a more transparent a more reliable system to port but the question is will they manage to do a clean up and is this going to be enough to fix the broken system of trps in the country let's take that forward to our guest this evening we've got dilip cherian and uh, javed ansari as well javed ansari first to you do you think this will be enough time and perhaps the intent is there by bark to do a clean up of the entire system Look, Sona, now it's not enough just to have the intent. If you ask me, they should just do away with this rating system once and for all. This pause business doesn't work. I do believe that this practice for TRPs is responsible primarily for the race to the bottom that you, that you see amongst some television channels, barring, barring some honorable exceptions. So therefore... Uh, you know, this madness that you see on television, this uh, competition uh, for going for the lowest common denominator, this must stop. Uh, we, we've reached almost rock bottom. I don't think if uh, we can go any lower. The credibility of the profession is suffering, is at stake, and it should not be held hostage to the interests of, of a few television channels. Therefore, my view is, that we should do away with this system, lock, stock, and barrel, because this has done more harm. This has only done harm. It has done no good to the profession. Okay, let me bring in Dilip Chirian. Do you believe uh, what Javed Ansari is saying? This is perhaps too little, too late, according to him. I think Javed is right, and that there is need to recast the entire idea of bark. But let us look at what is actually happening today and what is likely to happen if the same system persists. You have mm -hmm. a large, a certain number, not large enough, but certain number of set-top boxes which are supposed to figure out what you're watching. This entire system is designed for entertainment media. Now, news media is only mm. less than 10% of that and English news media and credible channels of that kind are even far smaller percentage. So what is happening is that in an attempt to conform to the BARC model, television news is being reduced to entertainment, to the kind of base stuff mm. that Javed is referring to. Now, BARC is owned 60% by the broadcasters, of which news broadcasters mm. are a tiny, tiny portion and have very little control. 40% is owned right. of Bark is owned by advertisers, advertising agencies, the agencies. Hmm. Okay? So hmm. what actually happens is that Bark will probably try and do some band-aid kind of solution and pretend that all is well. Hmm. But fundamentally, the system is flawed. The system is flawed because it is a pure quantitative analysis, which some channels hmm. have learned how to game. Gaming the system has resulted in their being able to kick their own personal TRPs up. So this gaming is on okay. two counts. One, because the system is wrong to measure the wrong thing. It is meant to mm. measure entertainment mm. eyeballs. And because some companies mm. are corrupting even that part where it, where it refers to themselves. Right. Javed Ansari, then what do you think is required at this moment by Bark to do to sort of earn back its credibility? Because we've had advertisers now, not just Parley G, not just Bajaj, etc. But all of them coming out and saying, well, we're going to extract 
our advertisements from toxic news channels and not depend on bark in a way what is required for them to earn back credibility look as far as i am concerned we should just do away with bark as far as news channels are concerned the entertainment industry can can do what it wants to do with it but news channels but we can do away nothing. but what will advertisers base on advertisers can base it on their own on their own subjective assessments just as mr bajaj has done so so can all the others so can mr tata and and the ambani's and adani's and everybody else if they want to they can do it now we we will also know hmm. whether you know they are willing to put their money or withdraw their money from uh, from these places or to, or do they also subscribe to this kind of madness that we see on some television channels almost on a daily basis hmm Hmm. Well, I, we would have loved to get some reaction from advertisers as well, and trust me, we tried very hard to get their understanding. Not very successful so far. Dilip Cherian, I'll put you in the spot there and say, are advertisers ready for this? Is India ready for this at the moment? What Javed Ansari is saying, not have bar ratings at all, and be leave it to their personal discretion on where they want to advertise. You know, qualitative measures are probably the answer when it comes to uh, being able to measure news channels. there are some mm -hmm. uh, efforts in this direction in fact there are a couple of indices which now tell you how much time for example an anchor is speaking versus any of the other people on the talking head shows there are there are mm -hmm. uh, measures which show how much time is spent on what is called hate news as opposed to progressive development kind of oriented news or good news now there are you know these may sound like qualitative stuff but the answer is that advertisers hmm. are looking for quantitative measures if you can put quantitative numbers hmm. to some of these things i think that what is happening globally for example the way starbucks for example withdrew its advertising there are companies today hmm. who are the advertisers in india the car companies the telecom companies the companies who are startups who want to sell you know the zomatos and the swiggies and those kinds of companies so these mm. companies mm -hmm. will uh, will recognize that selling happens in an atmosphere where there is harmony and peace what the tanishk ad for example was mm. trying to do was create this mm. soft glowing feeling of happiness now that is because marketers mm. are smart people they are spending somebody else's money who and they have to account for it they know that in an atmosphere of hate and for example in a in an area which has witnessed a riot so what i'm yeah, like, don't i go. don't want to digress to tanish right now yeah. I, i don't want okay. to digress there at the moment okay. but essentially no, what saying, you're saying is this that the responsibility that lies not just on bark but on advertisers as well they should now come out and say that well we are not ready to put our money based on a system which is so deeply flawed and i think advertisers are listening to the sounds that are coming from the marketplace and let's see if hmm. they respond to that sound there is no doubt that there is a ground swell hmm. of uh, shall i say revulsion of what bark is creating of hmm. the news channels Hmm. Okay. Well, I do feel at this point they've been forced to take this pause, so to say. This should have come much, much earlier. There's been an open secret within the industry as well. We leave it there, gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us, both Javed Ansari and Dilip Cherian.